The IT band is kind of a tricky structure. It's a band of connective tissue that runs up the lateral side of the leg. It attaches down on the outside of the lower leg, and then up by the hip it connects to a lot of different stuff. The tensor fascia latte on the front side of the hip inserts into the IT band, so people tend to associate it with hip flexion and try to stretch it with hip extension. But at the same time, the IT band connects to the iliac crest of the pelvis, and the glutes insert into it as well. So it really isn't a hip flexor or extensor, it just provides lateral stability to the hip and knee. So how do you stretch the IT band? Well, I invite you to just try some stuff and feel it out a little bit. What if we just over adduct the hip? Now that doesn't really do it. Now what if we extend the hip and adduct it? Try it here, try it like this, just feel it out. Now that still doesn't really do it. But what if we flex the hip and adduct? That's how you hit the IT band. Truth is, the IT band stretches much like the hamstrings because it crosses the knee and the hip and because the glutes pull on it a lot better than the TFL does. So if you get into position for a hamstring stretch and then add some over adduction, you stretch the IT band. So you can do this standing. Another option is to get into this iron cross position. Make sure you can straighten your leg, then pin your foot down with your hand and try to roll your hips away to the other side. That will light up your whole IT band. You'll feel that stretch from knee to hip. Now there's a point to be made here. If you're pretty tight all over, you may find that you stretch several other muscles just trying to get in position to stretch your IT band. So the lesson to learn is that if you want to really be healthy and functional, or if you want to be a great athlete, you need all around flexibility. You can't just spot fix the area you have a problem in.